what were we saying about um, Daily Paper event? How was that for you? Sick, man. Proper. Um, you know, it was a lot like putting it together and whatnot. A lot. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, like putting a live event like that together. But credit to um, Daily Paper, credit to the team, credit to our team as well. Um, putting that together, man. And, and I think it turned out well. Um, I like to think the, the people that came enjoyed it. And it was crazy because there was mad love in that room. I didn't really... Well, I kind of knew, but I didn't know that, OK, people are rocking with Paul Latouk on, on, on that level, you know, come, come a long way in such a short, short space of time, man. So that was, that was really good to see. It's given me a new energy, mm. you know what I mean? Um, new hunger. And just made me realise, man, we just got to keep pushing, man. 100%. Like I was saying, the, the event was mad. I was saying to my boys and people around, I was just, every time we do this, I keep thinking, it's just me, you and James. Like, I don't, mm. I don't think that people watch it like that. I'm just yeah. thinking it's the man them just sitting down, talking about ball, talking about life and all these things. But like you said, like in the previous episodes and that, when you get stopped and from random people, kids, like even... Women and that saying, oh, you do baller talk. It's like, oh. people actually take it's it crazy. in like that. It's crazy. And to see that many people at the event was, was mad still. For me, I was, I think I, think I was told Femme, but I was shook. Because mm. it was like, remember, like, we're, we do episodes, innit? Mm. And we have, like, the cameras and whatnot. And you can talk freely, innit? And obviously, you lot know, I sweat easily. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so, so... Mm. At first, I think in the episode, like, sorry, not the episode, the live show, I'm talking meds. But remember the, the crowd's here, innit? But I'm just trying to talk to you lot, because anytime I look there, I'm like, oh, like, there's people, because it was like you, proper intimate. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. It was really like you know, it was thing, close yeah. to us, innit? Mm. So for me, at first, I think it was like the first five, ten minutes, there was nerves. Like, even one time, I picked up my drink. Man, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's just so many, like, you're there. You not saying that you can't mess up, because mm. the live show, like, it's, it's, it's normal, isn't it? Yeah. But for me, at first five, ten minutes, it was shaky, but then as it went on, and I warmed to the crowd, and the crowd warmed to me, it, just, it was just. Easy. I think, I think you've done your thing. I think you've done your thing in there. I yeah. can't lie to you. Bro, I'm not going to lie, though, but uh, <laughs> what Daniel Carr done to me. <laughs> Hey, James, I can't lie to you. Oh, she got you. Oh. She said, how many goals you scored for England? <laughs> nah, she took it far. She took it far still. Do you know what? Like, yeah. I didn't think she was going to come back with that, mm. like, comeback. Because mm. I'm thinking, like, you know me, like, goals. Yeah. Goals, goals, goals. Yeah. But she was sharp with it. You know, like, even when you have a banger at football. Yeah. You, you get at someone. Yeah. Normally it's done, innit? But she was, the comeback was quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on job. She's on job. Even, like, though, like, even, like, during the day, I remember, like, I was on the phone to you guys, innit? And then I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll shout you lot. And then when, when I finally saw James that night, that evening or whatever, James was like, are you all right? Like, are you all right? Like, you, you thought something was wrong with me. Like, like yeah. it was weird because, remember, this is our first like, live show, no, live sure. event, if you want to call it. And throughout the day, with me, Fem, and even Manny, we was on the phone, and we could sense Fem wasn't the, his normal <laughs> self. Mm. Yeah, what's wrong with Fem? So Fem normally do a three-way call, so Fem's come off the phone. And then it's just me and Manny on the phone, and I'm go I've gone, Manny, what's, what's wrong with Fem? Like, it's, it's moving a bit funny. Mm. Then Manny was like, oh, brother, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool, cool. So then we've, we've got to the Daily Paper store, and I've walked past Fem's car, and he's in his car by himself. It just makes it look mad. I'm thinking, bro, no, something's going on. Yeah. Maybe, um, Fem's just in his car like this, in his car by himself. So I'm thinking something's up. Cool. Then we go to the store, get changed. We're in the change room. Getting changed and I, but it's, Fem's still giving me this like, energy that's weird. So we're getting changed and I said to Fem, bro, like, are you sure everything's OK? He went, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm fine, man. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. Like, it was different. Uh, it was just like... I don't know, it was just like a mad, humbling experience for me. Okay. So it was just like, bruh, like, this is, this is, this is, this is just crazy, like, all right. Like, I, wasn't, I wasn't upset, I wasn't excited, it was just, I was just mellow, like super chilled, super sure. mellow, just thinking, like, just 
trying to soak it all up, trying to yeah. soak up the day, and right. it just put me in a... It gets like that. In, it in, gets in, like in that. Mood, still. like, you know, so... No, but that, yeah, it was good, man. It was good, and and, and the suits, man. <laughs> big, no, no, big up for choosing the outfits, yeah, yeah, man. This is yeah, what yeah, people yeah. don't know. James is the one that chose our outfits. I'll, give, I'll say it openly, like, James so, is the one... <laughs> so, if Femi... That day, everyone said, the best dressed, I'll take the, the, applause, the credit. Yeah, James is the one that, that chose the outfits. He chose what we should wear for the, for the day. So yeah, man. I think I think I think it worked out, man. From top to bottom, man. No, I was really From good. top to bottom, you know. So yeah, man. But um, oh, man, it hurts to say this. Only gonna soak That's you, man's problem. <laughs> that's, that's 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 your problem. That's not my problem. <laughs> Bro, everyone debating about this United Arsenal very same thing. Listen, right now I even think United are below Arsenal. Ooh. After that five 0 hit, whoa! I don't want to hear that. Like, uh, you lot signed the biggest players. I know football don't work like that, but Arteta's working with a squad. You know what I'm trying to? He's trying to. Yeah, try, squad. Yeah. yeah, you get me. He's trying to pattern his thing. You man got big established mm -hmm. players. And you're moving like crazy walls. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it, bro. That's 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 your problem, bro. Do you know what it is for yeah. me? It just looks like United is just vibes. Just go outside, <laughs> vibes. There's no tactic. There's no how to play. And what United is built upon is like, if you're Manchester United, you've got to win by whatever way. Hundred percent. Now it's like it's not. There's it's not there. There's no desire. There's no. Motivation, of course, you can say Ronaldo, but he can't do anything by himself. But then again, people are even now saying, was Ronaldo not the right signing? He was the right signing. Yeah, of course. That's crap. And I'm just saying what people are saying as well. Yeah, he was definitely the right signing. I just feel like we haven't got an identity. Yeah. You know, um, we haven't really had an identity for identity for a few years, but. Like now, it's it's more evident than ever, and I don't really want to start picking out or saying it's the manager's fault. But you you you've you've got to look at Tuchel, the one that that's been trying to sign you. Kaki's <laughs> <laughs> injured now, so yeah. obviously you know I'm getting there. You got to look at Tuchel. You got to look at Klopp. You got to look at Pep. You gotta look at these three managers and you gotta think, you know what, these three managers are football crazy. Like, you just know it. Mm. You just know they're always thinking about new tactics, new philosophies, new way, and, and, and it shows in their team. I can tell you how Man City play right now. I can tell you how Liverpool play right now. I can tell you how Chelsea play right now. You know what I mean? And I feel like the Man United coaching, coaching staff is, is Listen, uh, I'm, I'm not a world-class coach, I'm not a world-class team, but from the outside looking in, it does look like... Just vibes. Yeah, there's no identity, there's no philosophy, there's no, there's no way we, we play, and I'm trying to grasp it. And for, Yeah, it just looks like ev every single player is just out there for themselves, just out there trying to do their own thing, and if they do their own thing, it's good. I don't think that we play as a team. Um, maybe we, do we need time? What do you guys think? No, I think he has to be out now. He's not... For a club like Manchester United, I, I'm not one that says, OK, you need to have a big name, but you need to have someone that can thrive under that, thrive under that pressure. And that comes with being a big name because they've been in that position. For me, there's names being thrown out. Zidane, Conte. They live for these kind of jobs. So shy. It's not him, man. Remember, he wasn't even meant to get the job for long. He had a six-game period where he won, he got, he went unbeaten, and they gave him the job. Yeah. You need to understand, this is a manager that got sacked from Cardiff, bro. Yeah. It's, it's mad. No, it's mad. Like you said, like even even watching that game, the last game when they um, lost five zip, even the changes clocked me. I was thinking, wow, man, didn't start Mane. Who else didn't he start? Started started someone yeah. else. Yeah. Oh, did so think, Fabinho. Yeah. Like, and then I'm just thinking, huh? and then. The Pogba situation, Pogba being on the, on bench, the bench, and and just little things like that. I'm thinking like it didn't, it wasn't adding up. It doesn't help the narrative yeah. when you're not starting Pogba, mm. Sancho. You know what I mean? Um, 
players like Van der Beek, so for me, Van der Beek's cold. Mm. You know what I mean? He's cold. He just needs to be in the right system. Where, like, if Van der Beek was in, like, a Manchester City, say, he'll be sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, but he's at Man United where there's not really... Players ain't trying to link up, get one, twos. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Man, are just, man are just doing their own thing out there. I, That's what it looks like. I it? wanted to ask you a question. Let's be real now. OK, we're not playing in a prem, but we play ball, so we, we do understand ball a bit. Do you think Fred is good enough to be at United? <laughs> and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that yeah. as in. I'm not saying that as in yeah. Fred's a bad player. I'm not saying that because sometimes I think Fred is a good player. But why is it when things are going wrong? I know he, sometimes he, he does like misplaced passes and that. But why is it always Fred, 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 Fred? He's not good enough. He's not, like surely he's. Together as a team as well, you get me? Not just one person. Like Fred gets yeah, it the most. You know, you know football, there's always a scapegoat. Yeah. There's always one person. That's and the United one's Fred. Yeah, the United one's Fred, I'd say. Fred needs to be better, though. Mm. He needs to be better, man. I just feel like... We've always... We've always... Our midfield has never been... You know what I mean? Like, it's never been... Our strongest point. We, we've always... It's always been like our weakest area, and and it doesn't help that Fred's in that position as well. But um, I think if Fred was to sit, me personally, I think if Fred was to sit, he'll be good. It's him trying to do everything, and it, it, it yeah. just it just doesn't come off sometimes. You know what I mean? He's he's he, he he's good at things, but he's not sick at things. You know what I mean? So like he's a decent passer of the ball, but you're not you're not the best passer of the ball. So leave that to someone else. You know what I mean? Leave the shooting to someone else. Leave, leave that side to someone else to do it and just do what you're good at. Like, you're, you're decent at break, breaking up play, mm-hmm. making passes, man. So you see, like, yeah. obviously we're speaking about United doing, not doing the best. <clears throat> when it comes to, like, social media, how do you think these look, look at social media in the position that they're in now? Do you think that they still go on it <coughs> comments? Because we're, we're in a time now where it's so easy for fans to message players and, and, and tell them how they feel. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, listen, I'll be honest with you, yeah? 90%, 90% of Premier League players are checking the blogs, checking the social media. You think, you think? 100%. Checking? 100%. It's getting sent to them, and it shouldn't be getting sent to them. So the people that are sending it to them like, ain't helping the situation. You know what I mean? They've probably got fake accounts. I promise you now. You see that thing? Ah, um, um, oh, it's an NBA. But years ago, they they exposed Kevin Durant. Like he had a fake a fake um, Twitter account. So when people used to when people used to like. <laughs> This is this Don't is, this is one of the biggest. This is one of the biggest NBA this players. <laughs> this is one of the biggest NBA players, yeah, in, in yeah, the world. Know, Kevin yeah. Durant, yeah. So when people used to like say things about him, he used to reply off his fake account, yeah, and say stuff like, "What are you talking about? Shut up, blah blah." And then someone found out that it was Kevin Durant's fake, like it was a fake account. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I've been around people. Like, I've been around people. I'm not gonna say names, and uh, looking at grams on fake accounts. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm telling you now. You think, I'm you telling remember, you now. But look at the stat you said, 90%. 90%, bro. No, I don't think... I, don't I, be, think. I believe that now. Like, even you check... check. The, even you check the, um, some of the blogs today, like, or even some of the, you know, the football pages and all these things, and, and whether it's banned or, or it's, they're getting heated, like, most of the Premier League fo- like, footballers are following them pages. 100%. So if there, if there, if there's something good, yeah, they're in the blog smiling, putting emojis. But if it's something bad, they're, they're not. You get me? I see, I see the names like big Premier League, like yeah, they're on the blog still. I'm not gonna lie. I'm telling you, they're watching. They're I'm, watching, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that if if it's man's if, if man's in that in their position, there is no You're chance I'm checking. It's no, and it's I, I'm and I'm saying that even when I'm doing well. No, but you know what? It's some some people are like like for me like you do check, but some people are just tough mentally that they don't. Give a, you get me? Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some people speaking, like, you speaking, I'll, talking rubbish. I, 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 I would rather people just 
get on. Because people are always... Listen, if you ain't got haters, you're not popping, in it. So there's always going to be haters out there because of the position they're in. Mm-hmm. You can't look at that. Like, if, if I was a Premier League player, I promise you now, it's easy to say, but I'll, I'll pay no mind to it because, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing, man, regardless, like... You get what I'm saying? It's when it's when you look into it, that's when you're reading what people's... That's when you start thinking, oh, should I change this? Oh, yeah. come off this? Oh, let me come off this for a bit. Oh. You start thinking too much, bro, it is what it is. Let them <laughs> say whatever they want to say, then keep it moving. Yeah. But you know why? You know why? Like, I'm not even got as much followers as them and them and everything. But it's just certain things, even when I'll laugh at a comment or something, man. Bro, you get like... 10 acts from different people you don't even know saying, what do you know about? Sometimes I feel like I want to oh, so cuss yeah. them. Like, well, so hey, yeah. When you're in that position, you feel like, like you want to... I, I feel like I want to say something mad, but then I'm like, you know what? Don't know. <laughs> like, man, just leave it. It's, there's no point. There's no hey, point. Hey, wait. Was you not on the blogs today? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I don't know. What, 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 I didn't see this. What I don't know. I don't know. you you're saying you're on the blogs today. No, no. I wasn't, I wasn't on the blogs. I commented something. No, I'll put, I'll put up something. <laughs> I put up something someone posted. Because I'm not going to lie, you see certain things, like yeah. social media, don't get me wrong, there's the negative side and there's mm. the good side. Like, see, when I see funny videos or like little quotes and that, I'll laugh in it, so I'll repost them. But then there's the negative side, you know, mm. people that might not even know you or people that know, like certain people, like footballers that we know, people might not know them like we know them, but you just see a lot of people like chatting a load of rubbish, saying all these things. I'm thinking, Bro, you got time, you don't even know the person, you got so much hate yeah. for a guy, you don't even know. Yeah, that's man. mad, like, you just wake up wake up in the morning or, like, you just go on your phone, you see something, then start cussing, man, you don't even know. That's mad, <laughs> no, I just is. find it mad. It is, it is, it is. Them internet people, they ain't got nothing to do, in it? Sit oh. on the phone, sit behind their laptop and just talking rubbish, man. You know what I mean? You're going to get those, but... Mm. But um, what's you guys' relationship with social media? Ah, oh, bro. I get, I get bantered about it 24-7. Because I wouldn't say I love it, but you know how it is, mm. like, nowadays, you're on your phone 24-7, you're looking at what's on Instagram, what's on Twitter, memes, TikToks and whatnot, so that side of things, I love it, do you know what I mean? Obviously, the, the gallum as well, and I see one, two, one, two, one, two, do you know what I mean? But um, for me, I think, it's, I think it's great for me, like, but I'm a positive guy, in it. So I, my, I think in, in social media now, you know how the algorithm is like whatever you like or whatever you watch they'll carry on mm. bringing it back to you in it so for me it's, it's it's good for me but it's not um when i was younger it was bad like i used to when you when you burst onto the scene mm. and you, you type in your name check james alavi but it was i was doing well and then it got to a stage when i was at Tranmere and i was playing bad but then you still check it because you're thinking they still look like they're my fans. Like they still, they mm. still like me. Yeah. And then when they start cussing you and saying you're shit, you're this, you're that, that's when it's like, okay, cool. Then I took a break. I didn't go on social media for time. I only used to post when something well, like good happened. And then it got to a point when I started to know myself and not let any of the, the doubters or the haters um, affect me. That's when, it's when social media is fun for me now. Mm. No, that's good, man. That's good. That's growth, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You went through all the stages and now you're at a place where you've got a nice relationship with, like, social media, you know? What about you? Uh, you know, my, my thing, man, with social media, like, I just like watching funny videos and I go on live, I interact with a lot of people, I make people laugh, I do, like, little skits or whatnot, but it's just a place for me to... I don't know, it's just a place for me to make people happy. Like, people come up to say, oh, you make me laugh, you do this and that. For me, it's just, yeah, like, like James said, watching videos or looking at certain things that we like on Instagram. That's about it, really. What's, yeah. what's the last thing you sent me on Instagram? Your DMs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to... I just want to... I just want to... Don't kill me! Don't kill me! I just want to cool me! <laughs> No, it was no Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho oh. come back to PSG. Remember, <laughs> Messi. Remember, it hugged Messi. That's what I said. Wow, there's two goals. That's what I sent. Oh, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, remember. No. Ronaldinho came yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> That's jokes. What about nah. you, Phil? I've got a funny relationship with social media. I can't lie to you. Um, 
<laughs> you lot already know I live a very private lifestyle. Mm. And, but at the same time, I know I've got to evolve with the times. You know, I don't want to be an old school old man just being bit like don't times be a dinosaur. Have, yeah, dinosaur. Times have times have evolved. <laughs> <isn't it>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a I don't want to be a dinosaur mm. in the words of Medi. You know, so I've got I've got to try try something in it. But yeah, man, like when I first started, it wasn't. So I started in it, and then I just thought to myself. This is an absolute myth. And I just, <laughs> I just came off it like, for like three years. I was like, this is a myth. I can't, I'm not on it. I'm not on it. And then I've gone back on it and I'm starting to... But like, when I've gone on it, I'm thinking, what do you do on it? Like, what do you post? Like, there was a hell of confusion. And if you, if you look back at my post, you'll think, what's Femi on? Like, hmm. what are you doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not making sense because I didn't know what to do on it. I didn't know what to do on it. And then I just thought to myself, nah, man, it's not, it's not that, man. So right now, I just do what I need to do and come off it. I know that, look, man, if you want to send a message to the world, I know that it's, it's another platform to do mm. it on. I'm aware of that, so I'm going to use it for that, you know. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I, I, really, I really try and use it for, man. Like I said, I'm a private guy, so... It's, it's a weird relationship. And also, man. like, mm. social media now is it's, it's a business. Yeah. Like, I remember having a conversation with um, Akin Femme a couple months ago, and he always tells me that social media is the new currency. So, like, I know for us, you can look at it and say, listen, it's, it's hard to be on it sometimes, it's hard to be off it, but it's like, for now, in this day and age, it's essential for certain players. It's essential yeah. for people to be on social because that's pe where people make their, their money, money in it. Yeah. So yeah. you've got to look at it th at that way as well. It's true. But what are you saying? Is it just Instagram or what about the other ones? Twitter? Well, no, but that's, that's yeah. the thing. Social that's media as a TikTok, whole. Yeah. It's not just... Yeah, TikTok is a madness right now. Paying like... I just... I clocked it as well. It's the, it's the more and more you post and post things up, the more and more your followers will go up engaging. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's mad. I remember the days like... When like, used to, I used to tweet, like, I still do it sporadically, but I used mm. to tweet every week, like, great game today, buzzing to get the three <laughs> points. I'm not on that. I'm not on that. <laughs> okay. I'm not on that. Yeah, yeah, the three points yeah. onto that. Blood! I'm looking up, I look back at those tweets, I'm like, I cringe, bro. Like, <laughs> what the hell? This is what I'm trying to say, there was hella confusion when I thought, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? No, but that was the in thing, that was the in thing back then, like, yeah. when you're young, you, but you always this like, right, this, right. So I'm saying, it's not even my fault. I promise you never do it. Yeah. No, I'll ask them, I don't think I do I, I, Only if they say, like, someone shy at that film or saying, you man, had a good game, then I'll yeah. post that. But anything to do with me, after the game, we won 3-0 and me saying, I, the fans was amazing. Yeah. What's, what's okay? What's Gay the, what's, Z, what, what, no. What, what, <laughs> no. What's what's the free? I say okay. What's the free most common football line? That's the. That's I'll start. The, I'll start. I'll start, start one. I'll start one. Um, preseason. Yeah. Minutes in the tank. Oh uh, my god. Yeah. Oh my what's, god. What's another one? What's another one? Um, that one. The one I just said after yeah. games on the fans was amazing. Um, great atmosphere. Um. You know all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen someone clutching. Yeah, I'll tell you a lot of camera. Yeah, I've seen someone clutching. Yeah. So like they've won in it. Yeah. He didn't score. He didn't get an assist. So he wrote, yeah, buzzing to get the win. Happy to contribute <laughs> <laughs> towards the assist for the goal. Whoa. Wait, towards the yeah. assist. I've seen man clutching, bro. I swear on my life, bro. I've seen this, bro. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah man. I can't lie. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, listen, you always got to look at yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I've got to take responsibility for when I was young and I used to do that, but bro, I promise you now, I was just hella confused at the time. I didn't know <laughs> what to do, yeah, dumb things, because now, like, oh, well, play, move on, man. But, like, but uh, I get now, like, bro, like, when you're saying footballers um, coming out and being more vocal, being themselves, being, having that character, you know, like, say it how you want to say it. For, exa for example, if I was to say it now, I like, I'll be like, pop, 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 three points. Yeah. Like, be myself. Yeah. Not, the, like, not the same old, like, yeah, yeah, yeah get me like, robots. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll, 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 like, be myself, like, you know that, maybe yeah. vote this. And, like, get, but, not... but football is very robotic, like, I'm not even trying to change the subject, but football is very robotic in general. You know what I mean? Like, from your routine. When you're doing the same routine for 10 years, yeah, 
everything's robotic, isn't it? And on top of that, they tell you when to eat. They tell you when to get showered. They tell you when it's time to train. You know what I mean? They, they, it's all of this type of stuff. Like you're not, you, you have, they, they give you, they provide you everything. So when you see these, oh, buzzing with the three points, happy to get on the score sheet. Uh, it's robotic. It's systematic. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. You know. And, uh, yeah, but that's football, isn't it? That's it's follow. You follow the next player. Like that. One player does it. That's it. You do it. Do you know what I mean? That's I see, it. I see something. I see something. Not to go off topic, but you see when you're saying everything's like robotic and that. Mm. I see something about um, if footballers was allowed to come in in their own gear, like NBA players, oh, yeah. how sick that would be. Like you pro- you'll probably get the person you want out on that pitch, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And they were saying, imagine if football done that. I think no sick, because, bro, to be honest, I was sick and tired of wearing suits to home games, because it's a myth, it's uncomfortable. Nah, I'm, I'm getting I, ready I, for I wear, a game. I wear, I wear suits. For, like, for home, did you like it, wearing suits? I still wear them. I don't really like it, if I'm being honest with you. Bro, I, like, I, I hated it. Imagine you're getting ready for a game, mm. putting on these hard shoes. And, you like, want to be comfortable. Doing the tie, and, like, yeah, you want to be comfortable when you go to a game. You don't want to be like... I think it's only, it should be only like for like finals. Finals yeah. and stuff, yeah. My, my, last, my last home game, I see one of my, um, my friends on road, isn't it? But like, I'm driving, I'm driving home from the game in, in Boreham Wood. And I see like one of my, my friends and he was doing he was doing something, yeah, around that way. So he's gone, I've gone like, what are you doing around there? He's like, yeah, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's gone, where are you coming from? I'm like, football, is that? You gotta wear this to football. <laughs> <laughs> like he's so shocked, isn't yeah. it? He's like, you gotta wear this to football. Like, what? What's this about? I'm like, yeah, man. It's yeah. crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's, it's real uncomfortable. If it was like NBA, that would be so lit. Yeah, I saw and, someone like, wearing some mad, what's that guy's name? Westbrook. Nah, he takes it far. Yeah. Pull <laughs> some thing around his neck. Yeah, he yeah, takes like it Bright far. colours and that. He, he takes it far. The he wears the skirt thing still, isn't it? <laughs> do you wear a skirt? Huh? Do you wear a skirt? No, I, I, I rate people that do it, but it's not for me still. I, well, if that's your style, I rate it, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get me? Hey, but, um... Someone's birthday's coming up. Yeah, we're really lit. We're really lit. We didn't feel your birthday, my guy. Listen, ah, my birthday is in um, a week. And um, no, it's just going to be energy, vibes. And if you know, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm going to leave it. But there's going to be, gonna be pressure, though. Because even Fem come to the house today and he was like, um, Looking at something on his phone, yeah, this shirt, this shirt. So I'm going, oh, Finn, let me see the shirt. He goes, no. <laughs> the shirt. He's exposed to me. <laughs> that was a private conversation. <laughs> you know what I mean? So oh. there's, there's a lot of pressure on this one. Yeah, no, nah, there's pressure because man, man are going to be in that building and we've been speaking drip, drip, drip for time. Mm. Yeah. So, all right, cool, back your chat now, innit? <laughs> <laughs> what you got now, innit? Nah, nah, it's gonna, <laughs> you be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be alliteration so, still. Nah, so yeah, man. No, it should be a good one, though. It should be a good one, man. You know the ones. But yeah, man, that's us, man. Pattern. Pattern. But.